YouTube, welcome back into another video with your guy. Another week of videos. Salute to everybody, man. So today up on the channel, we are talking some wintertime date night fragrances, man. If you're going out, wifey, girlfriend, or whoever, choose one of these 10, all right? Stay tuned, it's the Fragrance Show. We back, man. Salute to everybody that checks out this fragrance show on a weekly basis. Shouts out to my day one subscribers and my new subscribers, man. Salute to everybody doing their thing. So, yeah, we talking some date night fragrances for the upcoming winter. All of these are spectacular fragrances. All of these are definitely budget friendly as well. So, we're going to go ahead and kick the video off, but I do have an honorable mention uh man this would probably be like a excellent if you want to call it cheapy or something like that but it's from the house of azoro and it's called chrome legend and this is the bottle that it comes in i think this is like an updated bottle i'm not sure but this is chrome legend if you happen to stumble upon this fragrance in your you know your macy's not macy's your raws you know all your discounter stuff like that department stores check out a zero chrome legend this thing works in cooler air as well so honorable mention but fragrance number one up on my list this is probably gonna make a lot of my list when it comes down to date nights and sexy fragrances things of that nature because it's so smooth and good guys and it's called proud of you absolute proud of you absolute if you have not gotten this fragrance yet from fragrance world invest the money in it you will not be disappointed smooth sexy excellent for the date night for winter time could have went with a angel share inspiration by by killians but i chose to go with a fragrance called cognac blaze this smells nothing like angel share matter of fact i don't even know what this is cloning if it's cloning anything but this is cognac blaze from that paris corner line called mouage m-a-w-j really really love this juice man if you guys get a chance to check this one out check out cone yak blaze that's coming in at number two guys fragrance number three is one of the newer ones up on my list going to be reviewing this fragrance it was sent over to me from the folks over at zoa aroma guys and you got to check out wild plum wild plum if you guys can see that hopefully that comes up in the can in the camera wild plum is an inspiration to a fragrance from tom ford called plum japanese if i'm pronouncing that right but that fragrance was discontinued it was released under the private blend line but zoa aroma has wild plum and i'm really enjoying this fragrance guys really really good stuff all right four up on the list is a stellar clone to the luminous night dna by dolce and gabbana the one now this clone is called moon lit night the one and only and i do believe this is from fragrance world only thing about this one it's a not the best performer pretty much like average performance so with this one they're going to have to go in for the kill quickly on the date night if you smell blood in the water going for the kill with this one on because you're probably going to get about four to five hours on performance if you you know you might sneak away going to the bathroom you have a little atomizer with you you know what i mean repop yourself again to get that nice beautiful opening and that some staying power but nevertheless this is a good clone and very sexy guys i think it adds like praline to the dolce and gabbana one dna this is moonlit night the one and only from fragrance world that's fragrance number four guys coming in at number five up on my list is another stellar clone to this is has to be in legendary status far as a designer but this is the clone for spice bomb extreme this is victor this is mark and victor extreme for spice bomb extreme i have talked about this fragrance so much guys because it is the truth and it is a stellar clone check this one out from fragrance world you're going to get about i would say on this one i get about six to seven hours on performance so it definitely gets the job done at number six if you have any kind of rendition to this fragrance or if you have the og it is top tier perfumery from a scent profile this is Cheruto tobacco vanille 
it is cloning that Tom Ford tobaccos veneer, man. If you got this, if you got Tobacco Touch, if you got Nicotiana from the House of Alt, man, these are stellar clones to the Tom Ford tobacco veneer DNA. Only thing about this one, when you pump hard on the atomizer, it does start to leak, but I don't mind it leaking, man, because I love this juice. This is probably my number one tobacco fragrance, man. But this is from Cheruto. Tobacco Vanille, you want to get about seven to eight hours on skin and clothes. And so it really is a, you know, a nice performing fragrance, guys. That's fragrance number six. Coming in at number seven is a fragrance from the House of Alt. And it is a take on that, that Creed Aventus Absolute. No, Absolute Aventus. That scent profile has taken the the frag fragrance community by storm in my opinion especially if you have our mouths um club de nuit precious then that is you know it get close to the absolute aventus dna but i actually think this is a better clone coming from the house of alt and it's called absolute executive and look i done killed the bottle guys i gotta get another bottle rarely do i run through you know whole bottles of fragrances man but this stuff is so good and spot on to the absolute events is DNA. Super duper nice for a date night in winter. It will work in winter, guys. This clone right here, I will say it's not the loudest of the clones on the market, but it's the closest to the real thing, in my opinion. So with this one, you're gonna get about that six and a half hour mark worth of performance. Um, but you know, people will smell you. Definitely on a date night, uh, you know, close encounter, personal kind of thing. You will notice. So you're going to get about six, you know, six and a half hours on performance with this clone. Absolute executive, guys. That is number six, I do believe. No, number seven. Coming at number eight. Number eight, we have Frenetic Delicious. Delicio. Frenetic Delicious or Delicio. This is another clone to that. Um, Oh man, the clone, the OG is slipping my mind, but this is a decent fragrance. Definitely has like a little dark chocolate accord. This is some stellar perfumery DNA and a unique scent as, as well too. Yeah, very unique scent. Has a little uh, powdery kind of vibe to it a little bit and you do get a magnetic cap. So keep that in mind as well. Frenetic Delicious from that Paris corner. I do believe this is from the e -Mir line. Yes. All right, and with this one, guys, I got about seven hours on skin and clothes, so you know, not a bad performer when it comes down to you know matching with the price point. Number nine is coming from Fragrance World, and it is called Legion. Legion, Legion is a take on Parfum de Mali's Oajan. This is really nice too. I will say when you get this bottle though, if you do invest in Legion, let it sit for some months, three to four months. It will improve in performance, I will say that. And right now with my bottle of Legion, I'm getting about that six hour mark. It can push in the seven, you know, if you go, you know, heavier a little bit on your spray routine, it will push into the seven hour mark, but it does get a little faint. Um, you know, it doesn't become a skin scent, but it definitely starts to lose power. But nevertheless, a good clone, super duper nice for date night. Definitely has some alluring um, characteristics about the fragrance, in my opinion, as well. So this is Legion from Fragrance World, guys. And the last one up on the list, I think is like a, I don't want to say it's a hidden gem, because people do know about it, but... If you blind buy this fragrance, you you probably don't have no idea what it's going to smell like, just like I didn't. But this is Odyssey Home EDP from our moth. Odyssey Home EDP, really nice fragrance, holding down that iris note. Kind of get a vibe of Noir Stream a little bit from, um, from Tom Ford, just a little bit, but definitely smooth iris on this one. My Adam, I think I might be running out of this thing, man. But yeah, smooth iris on this one, man, for sure. So, Odyssey Home EDP definitely will be good for a night out on the town. So that was 10 amazing fragrances for this upcoming winter when it comes down to the date night. There are many fragrances out there um, that you can wear anytime, any place that you want. I just wanted to shine some more light on these 10, all right? Thanks for watching another video with your guy, man. If you need more content, click on that video header up above. If you wanna like and subscribe to the channel, you can go ahead and do that as well. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Peace, salute.